The streets of downtown Lake Orion were closed on August 23rd, 24th, and the 25th as 110 vendors, sponsors, and artists set up tents along Flint and Broadway Street, almost reaching M24. In addition to vendors, there was live music at the Tiki Bar and Dragon Pub, and the Kid Zone was set up in Children's Park, making this the largest Dragon on the Lake festival in recent memory. Right, that's one of our biggest goals. I was talking about with our board president about that, and it's fun because there's art and everything. It's in the music, it's in what you guys do on TV, it's, it's bringing on um, the chalk garden, and then even celebrating the artists in the market. This is their livelihood and how they make their, their money. So it's fun to talk to them too, to encourage them to come into our exhibitions and have a bigger presence with us throughout the year. So art is definitely like one of our, our biggest um, key components of the event. On Friday night, Lake Orion residents boarded their pontoon boats and took to the water for the annual Lighted Boat Parade organized by the Lake Orion Lake Association. Led by the always popular fire-breathing dragon, the parade made its way around the perimeter of the lake. A panel of judges awarded points based on lights, decorations, and overall eye appeal. The winners were announced in the Dragon Pub on Saturday. In third place was Noah's Ark, captained by Rick Vandenboom. Second place was awarded to Team USA, captained by Chris Dewey. And taking top honors was Bone Voyage, captained by Kurt Stiller. Cash prizes were donated by Ray C's Extreme and Rick's on the Lake. I love it! Fifteen years ago, Dragon on the Lake began with a chalk art challenge, and the event returned on Saturday. Front Street became an enormous canvas as 36 artists of all ages got to work on their masterpieces. Two judges from Oakland University judged the artwork in six different categories. At the end of the day, the winners were announced, taking best of show honors with Sophia Caras of Stony Creek High School. I've done a couple of thumbnail sketches, um, trying to decide what color schemes I want to do. I kind of want to do like more of a storybook theme to it. But yeah, just like, I guess I've done it a couple, I've done it one year before this. So I had a little bit of experience, but yeah. Um, a couple of years ago, I also did a little bit of a book theme, so I wanted to kind of continue off of that and like build it even further and kind of um, expand on my original idea. So yeah, and I figured like books, fairy tales, dragons, it kind of all goes together, so yeah. On Saturday night, the community converged on the Dragon Pub to enjoy live music from bands like Parallel Fifth and The Square Pegs. Between bands, Michigan artist Dave Santia painted two portraits in his unusual style. Dave began by flinging paint onto a black canvas, and within minutes, he flips the canvas over to reveal stunningly accurate portraits of celebrities. In this case, Prince and David Bowie. The two portraits were immediately auctioned off to the crowd in attendance, raising over $3,500 in the process. $1,500 Dragon boat races didn't become part of Dragon on the Lake until the second year of the festival. Participation took a hit during the COVID pandemic, but the event seems to be rebounding with hundreds of paddlers taking part in this year's event. On early Sunday morning, 14 teams made up of 20 paddlers each converged on Greens Park for the opening ceremony of the Dragon Boat Races, once again organized by GWN Dragon Boats. After announcements made by race director Rob Cavanaugh, the first two teams boarded their boats and headed out to the starting line near Park Island. Five races made up the first heat. We caught up with the captains of the winning teams as they came off the dock. So what has the preparation been like for the race today? Well, we practiced yesterday, and most of us were in the boat last year, so we had a little experience, so just our practice yesterday and hyping each other up. That's our practice. That's how we get ready. So how did you feel after this first race? Are we feeling good? Are we tired already? Was there any challenges? It's exhausting. Every time you race, it's exhausting, but we feel good. We're very motivated. What's the goal for your team today? Um, my boss really wants that trophy in our lobby, so that's our goal. Um, well, every year it's always an adrenaline rush. Um, we've been doing this since 2015, so every year's first race is just a great way to get back in it. We love it. So what is the goal for your team today? Uh, we're taking that trophy home. 
and we are raising funds and awareness for breast cancer uh, through Real Men of Oxford. Uh, we're raising money for the American Cancer Society. So it's a win-win. Who are we? All right, I am here with OMG, who is on a mission from God as they are defending their first place title from last year. What is going on? Congratulations. How are we feeling right now? I think we're feeling pretty good. Um, this is uh, first first run, and uh, we've got we've got some good uh, some good energy going into the races today. So I know last year it was like you were number one. It's going to be hard to be number one again. Everyone is talking like, we're going to win this, we're going to do this, but how are you guys going to persevere through to be number one again? Well, um, you know, all of it is timing, and it's all uh, just a really, really strong effort from everybody working together. So if we do that, then it's a win. When No matter what happens, if there's a trophy or medals or whatever, all of all. What's most important is that we're doing this together. We're doing this for the community. We're doing this for um, Christ Redeemer, St. Joe, and, and uh, um, St. John Fisher, and, and the parish families of Bald Mountain. So, um, and, and, and this great event in this, in this community of Lake Orion. So um, we're all Lake Orion and Oxford and Clarkson people, and we're all coming together to, um, and if that, that's a win. One, two, three. OMG. One, two, three. OMG. One, two, three. OMG preparation been like for the races today? We paddle twice a week in Windsor, Ontario, Canada, and we've been practicing since May, so we're ready to give her. I guess it showed, eh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Community team, and uh, we have a number of new members, but uh, we've got a lot of people who have been with the club for a while. I love that. And what is the goal for today? Win! Yeah. <laughs> We had a little bit of a rocky start. We were trying to figure out our lane. Next race, we're going to be even better and really show you what we've got. Woo! I love it. Woo! So, what is your goal for today? Take home first place? That's our goal. That's always our goal. What is your favorite part as a team about doing things like this? Our favorite part is always being together. It's not necessarily the races. It's the fun that we have after. We are a big community supporter for Ontario. We work for our community. We represent our community. In general, we love to be with each other. We hang out all the time, all year round. We just love to be together and support the, support the community. This year, we raised $10,000 for our local hospice. We're gonna be decorating our dragon boats into gondolas. So they've been retrofitted. We're gonna be taking a couple couples on a romantic ride on the Thames, off for a beautiful dinner, and then we'll be back. So we love to give back to our community whenever we can. We are the dragons! We are the dragons! The times from the first heat were added to the times from the second heat to determine the seeding for the championship round. In the last race of the day, the top three teams with the fastest times faced off for the Dragon Boat title. Flossed at Sea occupied lane one, Dragon Down Breast Cancer was in lane two, and Team ONG was in lane three on the right. Let's see how it played out. <laughs> It was virtually impossible to determine which team crossed the finish line first. Race organizers had to go through the video to verify the results. I caught up with race director Rob Cavanaugh after the championship race. I, I think it was one of the most fun Dragon on the Lake Dragon Boat festivals that we've ever had. As you can tell, it's hot out here today. That definitely affected the paddler's grip. It was slipping as they were sweating. But the competition was incredible. The team spirit was here. There was Lake Orion love. Everybody was cheering all the other teams on. It was a fantastic day here in Greens Park. But we had some awesome competition, great team spirit out here today. And we were raising money for the Orion Arts Center. I'd like to say, because I was working on the sponsorships this year, and it is so important that people, like he's saying back there, everybody contributing, kicking in together, giving what they can, maybe it's a little, maybe it's a lot, 
but it's really this collaboration and teamwork and it's an army of people that are putting this event together and I appreciate every single one of them. So thanks to our sponsors, thanks to our workers, thanks to our board of directors at the Art Center, but most importantly thanks to the community for making it what it is. All participants were invited to come to the Tiki Bar area where the results were announced. Finishing in third place with a time of 138.92 was Team Dragon Down Breast Cancer. Coming in second place was Team Flossed at Sea with a time of 136.96. Which means that Team OMG on a mission from God was named the winner of the Dragon Boat Races for the second year in a row. Their time of 136.28 was less than a second faster than the second place team. They were awarded the coveted Dragon Cup Trophy for their impressive victory. And we all come together um, as, as, a, as a community and it's in this event that is so emblematic of coming together to, uh, to be good sports, to, to um, be unified in, in just energy and love. So thank you. This is amazing. I talked to Orion Art Center Director Holly Nicosia and asked her to look back on the unforgettable weekend in Lake Orion. Yeah, it was a beautiful weekend. I think we're all a little tired and uh, it's a once a year thing, but we have such an amazing team here, our board of directors and Stephanie McIntyre from Sam Entertainment. It's just, it came together so wonderful. You go to these meetings every month and you just hope for the best thing and I really think we knocked it out of the park this year and, and we had such a great community outpour with the, the music last night at the Dragon Pub and it's just fun to see the community come out and embrace this event every year. As the Dragon on the Lake weekend winds down, we have to look back on the foot traffic, all the sponsors involved, and of course the participants who made the races possible today. It truly was the biggest and best year for Dragon on the Lake in Lake Orion. From Greens Park, I'm Lexi McKinney reporting for ONTV News.